How'd y'all get in here? Oh man, can a man sleep in peace anymore? Ain't even had my coffee yet. That's right, I don't have no coffee. But I do. I went and got some last night, a little can. Oh man, come on, let me sleep. Y'all go away. Ah, oh, I had the weirdest dream. These spaceships came, hundreds of them, and out of these big spaceships, a whole bunch of little spaceships come out. I mean, there's thousands of them, and they started landing. They were like gliders. They didn't even have motors, and it was like the least advanced world to ever invade us, and these big old tall things crawled out of them, and they had big afros. I'm serious. And all you had to do to kill them was throw a trash can at them and they'd just disintegrate. And uh, I think that whole invasion lasted about 30 minutes. And, uh, and then I woke up. And there you are. So uh, that was my dream. I don't want to go back to that one. That's not, that's not as good as the dream where I was swimming in chocolate pudding. That was good. Uh, all right, let me get up. Let me get up and uh, get my coffee made and, and I'll come back to you. All right, now I'm there. Uh, Marl, don't, don't eat, don't eat my Frito pie, Marl, no. Oh, oh, man, what a nightmare. <coughs> oh, 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 I gotta get up. Bye. <coughs> All right, now I'm awake. Y'all gotta quit barging in on me while I'm sleeping like that, man. That's, that's not cool. But at least you're here. Uh, I'm still waking up. I stayed up late and I woke up about four this morning in this piece of junk, squeaky office chair. And let me tell you, that ain't fun. Uh, I didn't get much. I didn't get my nap in yesterday. That's what it was. Gotta have a nap. Anyway, I don't know what's going on today. I think I might go over and help Jeff and Drew. Well, we'll see what happens. They're not, I haven't seen them go by yet. They're going to be hauling a bulldozer, so that's not going to be hard to mess. Uh, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Uh, man, there's, they're just so many problems in the world today and I don't know if parents aren't teaching common sense anymore or they just don't have any to teach but when I was in Oklahoma yesterday I drove by Subway and I'm like man that sounds good a sub sandwich I might go in there and get me a sub sandwich so I stop in there and I get up to the counter and the girl goes she's probably about 18, 19, 20 somewhere in there and uh, I don't know if it was her first day or what, but they shouldn't have left her alone. I said, man, I want one of them foot-long Subway clubs. And she goes, what kind of bread do you want that on? I said, give me that Italian herb and cheese. So that's what she got. She cuts it open, and that's where I stop them. I said, I want mayonnaise on the bread, on both sides of the bread. I don't want it on top of the lettuce where it gets all up in my stash. And up in my in my face or in my beard, I don't want that. Then I walk around without knowing it for two days. Well, no, I take a shower. But. So she puts the mayonnaise on the bread. So they scoot, you know. She asks what kind of cheese, pepper jack cheese. And they scoot it down. 
Usually they scoot it down to someone else if they're busy, but there was no one else. And so she starts pulling out the little slivers of meat that they put on. It ain't much. And she goes, well, what else you want on it? I said, everything. Everything out, out there except for pickles. Pickles don't belong on a sandwich. They don't belong on a hamburger. Unless it's a homemade burger, then you can put pickles on it. For some reason, that tastes good. But them McDonald's pickles and all, ooh, they're nasty. I fling them out the window. So anyway, she starts putting all this stuff on there. She goes, I don't know if it'll all fit. I said, trust me, I order this every time, it'll fit. So then I start turning, she gets that stuff, and I see she's putting it all on there. Usually I watch them real close. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm looking off for, I'm looking at the sun chips. I said, hmm, sun chips sound pretty good. So, so do those baked lays. I'm going to get me some of them, I think. No sooner, blah, no sooner did I put my head up, I see her get that mustard bottle out. You know how they do. And they go like this. And she starts right on top of the lettuce and everything. Got it all over the sides of the bread. I'm like, I told you, I didn't want mustard, and I didn't want pickles. And sure enough, there was pickles on there. And, uh, she, oh, I'm sorry. So she starts picking the toppings off, and then I said, it's all over the bread. So she grabs a stack of Subway napkins that are printed. They got ink on them. And she starts to wipe the bread off. I'm like, girl, that ain't going to work, man. You can't wipe off mustard. You don't wipe mustard with printed napkins. You go start over. Ooh, she, I thought she was going to start crying. I finally said, all right. I mean, I don't hate mustard that bad. I said, just wrap it up. Wrap it up. Take it as a lesson learned. Man. Kids, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? As Robert Dog Nero says, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, i got to have a mall right there. What are you going to do? Bada bing. Well, that's it. I'm going to start my day. At least with this camera, I can see the viewfinder from here. So I know if my head, my head's not down like this. Y'all right, like that squeaky chair. I got some comments on that. Don't tell me stuff like that. Because I'll just irritate you. Sorry, had to do it. All right, guys, uh, try to get a few videos out today. Who knows what's going to happen? I like weird stuff to happen, but I haven't seen any weird stuff going on here. Uh, but if I'm going over to Jeff's, we're going to have some weird stuff, and they're going to be a bulldozer. I want to turn driving that sucker. So that could be interesting. So happy trails.